Big Warriors, and welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tick as we continue the campaigns of Monarchs Mirrodon. And last time, we were at the very edge of bankruptcy, and we survived, and now we're once again at the edge of bankruptcy, but not as bad. Uh, we no longer are, like, scraping the bottom of the barrel to try and find any mech setup that we can get. We actually have a little bit of choice, and we're doing a bit of a training day. 600 and something thousand sea bills is on the line, and if we take minimal damage on the only mech that we care about, then it'll be good. It'll be very good. As tempted as I am to deploy on a long, narrow ridge that is the high ground that you can't get off of, I will pass. This is the corner. All right, we'll take this territory. Ooh, okay, we found them. <laughs> They're right in here. So we will deploy right down here with the hopes that I can sneak up behind them and, you know, do nasty many things to them. We also need vehicles right now. We have two vehicle slots. We're not using either of them. It's ever since our sprint got shot down. Not that the sprint was ever long for this world. Alrighty then. Handheld Gauss rifle. What? Since when have bush rangers been that cool? Had a grenade, la grenade launcher with guided grenades. And a magnet pulse thing. This is actually a fairly decent mech for what it is. Firestarter 9S, which has the AMS set to overload helpfully already by default. Centurion 9A, which is your standard Centurion, the very boring Centurion. And the AH, which is the cooler Centurion. A real hand of counts are full to tell. Uh, it's a meme, but it's mostly true. Like this guy. Yeah, so the idea is, you, like, the higher ranked you are, the better lance you can bring together. So if you're some sort of super high nobbing, like, jerk of a Steiner commander, then sure, you could have an entire Steiner Scout Lance dedicated to you. I think they also have, like, the highest production of everybody in the Inner Sphere, too. Which, you know, is hobbled by their horrifically inefficient government. Primitive. So, at the end of the day, they're all jerks. There's really no good Wait faction forward. in Battletech. As cool as it would be to claim that you could. Roger. But it's just not the case. Everybody's a bad guy. Or lesser varying degrees of bad guy. Okay, this is not ideal. Let's hit the striker. Wee, grenade! And we hit him too! Good. Space takes us better than all. <laughs> oh, the Turians. Copy that. I don't know how good the Turians really would be considered. Alright. Lobs misses. Let him eat it. Uh, same as Warhammer and 40k, just enjoy the stuff. Uh, you can enjoy the, the politics of it. That's a fun thing about the setting. Yes, Although Tex actually recently did a, um, has done an outreach program towards the 40k community. So, in case you're not already familiar, which I think most of you probably would be, because I assume most of you probably play 40k as well. Uh, the 40k community has been stabbed in the back by Games Workshop, who is now going after anybody who makes fan content on YouTube with their IP. Uh, to the point where incredibly popular shows on YouTube, like the Emperor Texas Speech Device, have shut down because of them. You dick! I hate you so much. But, uh, at least, uh... At least Battletech doesn't have those problems. Yet. <laughs> I don't think they will. I think the Games Workshop is making an epically stupid mistake that someday they will backtrack on. Run through a minefield. This is great. Oh good, you didn't manage to say anything. Knew about Emperor TTS, yeah. That's a lie, I know orcs work magic on belief. I mean, that's literally true. That is that is their fluff and how that works. <laughs> it's not even a joke, that's just reality of the universe. All right, I'm gonna go after the people who have a, the best chance of hitting and that's the Skulker. So, barbecue! Oh, mostly killed too. Texas has apparently been ta talking about reaching out to 40. Uh, I was friends with TTSVA. Oh, cool. I mean, I know he's done it. He had a community post on his YouTube, and he made a post in uh, one of the Warhammer 40k meme su meme uh, subreddits. So, which I think is really cool. Like that is some awesomeness. So, hopefully, more people will be able to join our lovely community of 40k of uh, BattleTech. Oh, 77 percent. Yeah, let's uh, let's make this hurt. And it's gone. Of course, you fired in your friend's back, so not ideal. Guess it's like, okay, it's works up there. <laughs> they need to be cleansed. Yup. I say it was because it's on hiatus. Yeah. 
Gears Workshop, Bag of Hammers, all of them. Oh, well, let's just go up to the folks who make advertising for you. Yeah, I was actually talking to my to a friend of mine about this recently. Like, Games Workshop was on the on the verge of being able to like literally print money if they had you know actually if they had embraced the innovation that the community brings. But nope, they're not gonna do that. Sixty nine percent chance of hitting. That's pretty nice. Oh wow, it's good to be back in the Centurion. <laughs> Instant hit and kill. Couldn't hit the broads out of a barn in the Phoenix. But this, no, instantly opens up and annihilates target. I love it. That's what we were looking for. Alright, uh, lobs and missiles. Doesn't matter. It's an hour and ten. Got a buddy that paints and collects miniatures. He occasionally does the game. Uh, he got, like, a brand new car's worth of this stuff. <laughs> yeah, I've got an Imperial Guard army over in my closet over there. Gaze Workshop hates innovation. Just shut up and kill her environment. He's Uh, so this gets with the Atlas Scout Lance, and he says, this is very tedious. Need something cheap? I do. <laughs> All right, Bush Ranger. I, I need... Oh, wow. Okay, so it's on a one-turn cooldown. Totally worth it. Handheld Gauss Rifle, one-turn cooldown. I'm all about it. All right, so that's on its right side. So we're going to come over here, and we're going to give Das Boot, and then we're going to, you know, fire all the things. We'll probably miss, but that's not the point. The point is we tried. Oh, you hit? Never mind. This pilot clearly does not need to be in this squad. Absolutely not. <laughs> He's got this all under control. Alright, go kill the Wild Scout. 51%. Barbecue in the back. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. And you hit that too? Good. Uh, that was a joy to listen to on my back. My back runs. Continuing more hands. No, no. Pretty good at D, uh, D voices, too. Uh, I want to talk him into tr trying to VA for text. He did Fyodor and a few minor ones, and the great unclean one in FLS video. The one calls me. Hmm. Yeah, that'll be interesting. Te Tex has a lot of really good people who, uh, who do the VAs with him, so. I'm certain he'd be open to that sort of thing. Uh, I had a full tank com tank army Imperial Guard. Nice. I wanted to bring what was essentially a maximum uh, air battalion to Adepticon one year. Unfortunately, just before Adepticon, they changed the rules concerning Imperial Armor came out with an update, and so they changed the rules and said for my flyers and made them terrible. <laughs> Nobody died. Minimum damage to the Centurion. And some Skulker parts. Lovely. Oh, this has been very good. So yeah, we made money. We took minimal damage. We had a phenomenal time. We finished the battle in, what, five minutes? <laughs> Not even. Uh, I think Zoran thing about Warhams, though, so I'm going to say. Yeah. I'm not super familiar with a lot of this stuff. But yeah, uh, my original attempt to go to, was to go to Adepticon with, I believe it was... Yeah, it was two Vulture gunships with Punisher cannons, obviously, and two Thunderbolts. And then they messed with the Thunderbolt. They shot the price through the roof, and it was completely unusable. So I had to drop them down to Lightnings. So, and Depticon was still pretty fun that year. I went two, uh, two wins, two losses that year. So, two Vultures with the Punisher cannons. So you basically got to fly up to somebody and hit them with 43, 43 shots. Because you got a heavy bolter and, and 40 shots out of the Punishers. And then... One lightning was rigged for air-to-air -air work, which also could target pretty much any skimmer. And the other one was rigged for air-to-ground work with Hellfire missiles. And you would just show up and obliterate things. It was beautiful. Two days to fix that. Three days before she's back. Yeah, we can do an entire another mission before the end of the month. And then, of course, three tanks. I wanted to bring Conqueror Russes, but then they changed the rules on, uh, on kit bashes that year. So I couldn't just kit bash a Conqueror turret. You had... If... Because the rule became, if it's Forge World, it has to be purchased from Forge World. You can't kit bash into Forge World equipment, which was really kind of annoying. Uh, I think watching a tabletop game is unbearable, but listening to it in the background is alright. I'd recommend listening to it while you can work out a walk. It's pretty enjoyable. Uh, yeah. Watching it at 2x speed while doing something else on the side is also pretty good. Had a Bane Lathe and two Lemon Russes and a bunch of th Sentinels. Oh, okay. Yeah. Never got any of the super heavies. 
I masked it out a couple of times. The super heavies just were never worth it in uh, in 8th edition. Someday I'd like to bring my titans to Adepticon. <laughs> that would be cool. They've, uh... They have a an event at Adepticon called the Battle for Hell's Reach, and they bring several titans. And a few of those titans were actually made by one of the guys at the Warhammer Club that I went to. So... If you ever get a chance to go to Adepticon, definitely sign up for Hell's Reach, because that is some of the most fun you'll ever have playing Warhammer. I like watching and listening. It's only specific people that say some cringe stuff that I don't vibe with. Yeah, that's fair. You gotta find the right kind of personality. This is very true. Alright, what was that thing that I wanted to buy? It was 200-something thousand seals. Oh yeah, the Flame Breath cockpit. But it does need to have a head-mounted energy weapon, and fire starters don't have that. Uh, I don't have a Warlord yet, just, just two more rounds in every year. So I visit tabletop games. I should clarify, when I say tabletop, I mean a session like d and I've watched a few actual hardcore tabletop tournaments, and it was a blast. Oh, okay. Yeah, when you said tabletop, I thought you meant, uh... I figured you were meaning the tabletop wargaming. I tend not to listen to a lot of d and uh, stuff. Critical Role is fun. Uh, but never just watching it, always listening to it and doing something else at the same time. Makes it way easier to actually, you know, digest and work with. Uh, was saying that for there? Yeah. I was not. Yeah, I don't know if that's cock that cockpit's at all worth it to us then. Because I don't have any mechs that can take advantage of it. And I would want it to be on a, well, basically a melee mech that didn't already have a hot seat cockpit, so maybe it's just kind of pointless to us. Well, in that case, the only thing I want is this advanced zoom mark 3. It's not an advanced optics mark 3, but it's a start. Alrighty. And then command center. One day before the end of the month. Could do the test drive. But do you have an Oregon mission we can take? Assassinate in a battle. That's probably too hard for us right now. We could go destroy base. It's just not worth very much now, is it? Hmm. Harsh liberation, one-on-one -on -one duel. One to seven. If it's only 133, we may as well go the one-on-seven. Question becomes, what are we taking? I think it's got to be the Centurion. The ballistic targeting computer helps it all. Oh, shoot, that's what I forgot. Yeah, I'll work on it later. I forgot to put the ballistic targeting computer in the in the phoenix because it needs it <clears throat> critical has a lot of advantages over your standard D&D stream with the cast and production values oh yeah because <laughs> they're all voice actors <laughs> so it makes it a lot easier uh critical is always in cringe whenever they do any kind of romance yeah I'm not a huge fan of Sam Regal to be completely honest um he's the one who in the first campaign he played Scanlan uh, Scanlan and then in the second campaign he's played not I'm not a huge fan, fan of either of his characters, but... Monarch, yes, Monarch's the player character. Uh, I noped out of Adventure Zone as well when they got political and stopped the comedy. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. So. For the most part, Critical Role tends to be pretty good. Um, their romance stuff isn't tremendously good, although in Season 1, the romances could be pretty fun. Uh, mostly for their comedy value, more than anything else. <laughs> But I still have not finished Season 2, which apparently wrapped up kind of recently. Oh, great, it's another Anubis. All right, buddy. Me, you, you, you've got... Oh, shit, we're in trouble. I hate Marisha Ray. Ooh. I like a new game, who does? So, we're in trouble. Um, a lot of trouble. That's, that's a very, very, very bad way to begin the day. No cannon. Getting hit by a large laser. True first turn protection. <laughs> we're gonna lose! Oh, we're gonna lose this so much. You can stunning strike more than once? Yeah. Let me put it this way. The monk class is my favorite class in D&D. It was my first class in D&D. And I still adore it. And she doesn't play a monk well, but eh, she's playing the monk that was made by her husband, so... <laughs> She's using the subclass that was created by her husband. <laughs> I can't give her too much shit for it. 
Oh, we are so screwed. Not another D&D podcast is pretty alright whenever Emily isn't talking about her character Moonshine. I'm not familiar with that. Ow. Yeah, we are so screwed. I just took a critical hit. This is a half skull. And we're about to die. Come back here. I need a random hit. Hey, we got a random hit. It was not good enough. It needed to be a random hit in a different location. That's the leg. Oh. That's everything. Son of a bitch. We got bodied by a gosh darn Anubis. I was not expecting him to be rigged like a Starly Garamongus. I just rebuilt that goddamn thing. Oh. Well, that's great. Yep, that's what I thought. Ooh, out for 164 days. So that was absolutely as bad as it could have gone. You're trying to take my fucking mech? So we lost the Centurion anyway. This was for Lau. We're not getting any salvage anyway, so... Wait, I thought I did make it. Oh yeah, we lost, that's why. You're gonna take my fucking mech, you assholes. Now you have to leave the system I lost. <laughs> ECM is sick. It's not ECM that killed that. Well, it partially ECM, but it also... He had better guns and better evasion. And better pretty much everything. <laughs> better pilot. Although I don't know why it killed her. That doesn't make any sense. Ammo explosions don't propagate, don't propagate to the head. She shouldn't have taken any injuries. Oh, it's side torso of destruction, sure, but that'll be one. Well, shit. Yeah, the ammo explosion wiped out the mech, sure, but it shouldn't have been able to hit her. So that's annoying. Ugh. Company is going to be all sorts of fits and starts. I can feel it. Didn't even get to take the pieces of our mech home. So that kind of sucks. Really should turn this around into another mission then. Come on, Santo! It's going because the chat moved too fast. The heck is an Anubis? Um, the Anubis is a small, stealthy scout mech. So. Normally they don't have large lasers, at least not the ones I normally run into. But... Oh, we're not going to work for Lau. Lau, you can go soak your head. <laughs> Could try turning that into a battle against the Capellans, but no, that's against a proper house force. We would never actually win it. Could do a Lau test drive against who? Against the pirates? Sure, why not? Depends on what you give me. A crab 21. I mean, that's not bad, actually. Alright, so let's get Kager in one of these fire starters, which is the one with the vehicle flamers. It's that one, so you go there. And we need Shogun. He goes there. And he's my best gunner. Would be Shadow. Oh, wait, no, I need to actually field that. Never mind. Uh, second best gunner. Shade. Step out in the world. Deploy. Okay, uh, gonna read the wiki. New mech I've never heard of. Probably the Anubis cost was like five times that old Centurion. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> that Centurion had bloody quick cell parts in it. The thing that angers me the most about it is the fact that I've just lost a, a ballistic target in the computer. In our experience, those have not been super common. So. That's a little annoying. Ugh, save me. 
Save me from my own bad decisions. But yeah, definitely sucked. Oh, there it is. Yep. It's got that weird shoulder pattern looking to it. Uh, I don't see the wiki version that holds a large laser. Uh, it was a pirate version. So, that's why I was kind of surprised that it was as tough as it was. Because that loadout looked like a mongoose loadout. What's a light PPC? Uh, it's the... No, it's not... It, Oh, it wasn't a light PPC. He was using a large laser and two mediums. So that is a mongoose loadout. So I'm a little bit annoyed by that. They added a bunch and also are... Also not all of those are up to date. Yep. Uh, the Anubis is in a shrimp. So they're fun. They're fun little mechs that do fun little things like ruin your day. Or week. Or perhaps even year. Duels need pimped up mechs. The Op4 generally comes with all the toys. Yeah, but I was 15 tons heavier than them. <laughs> I wasn't fully expecting that. <laughs> gotcha, so Rogue Tech allows mixed loads. Oh, yeah. Rogue Tech, you do whatever the heck you want. You can get equipment for anybody and build it in anything. I need more Bushwreckers. <laughs> oh, Bushwreckers are fun. Did you just call a crab ugly? Yang, it's a crab. A more refined design has not been seen in a long time. We're gonna put ourselves right on up in here. And flow down. Her take us all the Yep, and then some. Kinds of fake. Tri it's crap. No, it's a crab. Crabs are beautiful. Uh, they're also a really good mix. Where are you? Future e bag sound. Oh, there you are. Hi, what are you? I'm gonna guess harasser but that doesn't look quite right but i'll hold i'll hold my guess as harasser Holding. just reserve down and let them go phase one is a triple mortar mech <laughs> which is so good bushes are really good i am a big fan i just haven't run into them in a really long time like we have not had a bushwhacker in so long the last bushwhacker i can remember us actually using was back in Starburst yes. campaign and that was the second ever campaign that we ever did after we did our initial story playthrough Jenner um apparently I'm heat neutral so if I'm heat neutral I'm gonna shoot <laughs> yeah bushwhackers are a lot of fun they're also a really cool looking design oh god no are you a rocket derby you might be a rocket derby uh oh it's the light AC5 one. Oh, we had this one once uh, this was back with Sledge's Hammers. Had this exact same one. And that actually ended up being a really good a really good crab. I wasn't a fan of it, but it was a really good one. And the Phoenix is just going to set up here with their artillery. Quote unquote artillery, I suppose. And mortar. And swarm. Yeah, let's go. Eh, actually, no, don't fire the mortar. Yeah, don't fire anything. We'll wait until next turn when you're actually accurate, and that way we don't waste ammo. Hello. I wish the lasers started at the top, but they don't, for whatever reason. I can change this in the mech lab if I want to. I clearly just have not put in enough effort into what I'm doing. Alright. Uh, again, also heat neutral. Like bushwhackers, but this on bush rangers. Uh, they're two very different mechs. Planetary government seems to have them quite a bit more. Oh, good, that's cool. We'll have to make sure we take a couple of missions, see if we can't find them. I don't know if 100% true, but I ran into like four of them on different missions against the planetary government. Okay. So. The neighbor made a mech that visually looks like the Bushwhacker with torso twist. Uh, it's called the Gauntlet. It is literally a Bushwhacker, except as an Omni mech, made by Steiner. So, if you want a Bushwhacker and you need torso twist, you're looking for a Gauntlet. So, and they, they tend to be really interesting picks, too. <laughs> so, the gauntlet is literally everything that the Bushwhacker was supposed to be. So, if you ever have a, want to have a really good time, that's the mech. We're going to set up right in here. Three evasion. Looking at a distance. Uh, that's not great. That's a little bit better. My Bushwhacker is easily my best mech. They often are. <laughs> they really often are. <laughs> 
Uh, did fire LRMs or SRMs. Okay, that's an interesting use of an MML. I could just unload on you. I'm losing 5%, but I'm getting two more 15s. Now, we'll target the Urban Mech, because I believe he's... I think he's a Rocket Irby. You're a fool if you don't start with one change my mind. Uh, easily. The Commander start is way better than the Bushwhacker start. Because the Bushwhacker start is only going to take you until you're done with 55-ton mechs. But the AWACS is forever. What is it already? Um, uh, yeah. Change it in the mech lab. It's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're a Pegasus. Oh, that makes a lot of sense, actually. All right, Firestarter, can you reach him? You can reach him. Ooh. You can even reach behind him. Um, Yeah, we'll do that, since that's a reasonably safe... That's a reasonably safe avenue of attack. Go for it! Hey, Wex, let me want Bushy Bushy's Capri. <laughs> they, they are not as cool, but they are the better choice. I will agree, they are not as cool. Position confirmed. Not you, not you, but you. Acid, FTL. Oh yeah, <laughs> rocket, 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 rocket. That's that's an unpleasant amount of rockets. There we go. Um, you want gauntlet? Oh, I have to. Yeah, gauntlets are fun. Rogue tech on impossible. Start with all tanks. Uh, okay, we did that. Last season, we did that. <laughs> it was an interesting start. It was also our longest running and most successful season. <laughs> we were down in super heavies by the end of that one. Alright, uh, actually I'm going to trigger... Oh wait, no, that's, that's not... He doesn't have Berserk. Stop thinking he does. Kick. Go for it. The hell the appears to be full of random BS3. No, it's not tandem, so just normal rockets. Ooh, much better accuracy there. And barbecued. Pegasus is down. 33% of forces dead. I played a Rock 5 Bushy in Mechware Online. Sucked hard, but it had to chase me around the way. Uh, the triple Rack 5 Bushwhacker is actually meta. <laughs> or at least it was back when I used to play. My team messed him up and they had sniped by BBs or something. I have to kill him. I need to watch Copper Top. Dear God. Uh, link me to season and I need to start with it. Yep, Season 9 was Copper Top's first, and then he went on for Season 9, 10, and 11. <laughs> Eight months. Uh, you keep saying all this cool stuff? Yep. I'm watching some, uh, someone playing an all-vehicle campaign, no mechs allowed, period. It's hard work. Oh, if you're not just not allowing mechs at all. We started with no mechs, but, you know, eventually you get up there. Yes. We had our very own Super Heavy. It wasn't good, but we had it. Uh, I only had one. I up our Ah. So let's see. When they finally allow us to start customizing our own vehicles is when I'll start considering a mostly... I, I, I don't want to say that, because, like, I play this game to have mechs, you know? <laughs> like, tanks are interesting, but they're not mechs. Miss... Copper Top had four Arrow 4 Stalker nuking support mech. Uh, no, that was, um... That was Ripper's Rumblers. That was a Stalker that we turned into a Quad Arrow 4 mech. So we started building something similar for Copper Top, or Copper Top, but we never never got it. By the time it was ready, we ended up switching out for a pair of Arrow 5s. But no, I believe it was... I think it was Sledge. Or, no, it was Ripper. It was Ripper who had the, the quad the quad Arrow 4 Stalker. It was great. Hello, Krellian. I got nuked in a one skill. Yeah, um... If they limited nukes to only being cannon nukes, I would totally play with nukes on, but they don't. There are Thunderbolt 5 nukes, and because of that, I won't play with nukes on. Because that is some crap. <laughs> that is unacceptable. We're gonna go after this guy here because he's on his own and kind of vulnerable. Let's see if we can't get a couple of good hits on that. Do you know which season had the stalker? You talked about it, and at least Mechware 5 stream was super interested in seeing it. Um, I want to say five, but <clears throat> uh, it was. I'm 90% sure that it was for Ripper and Ripper's Rumblers. 
Come over the cliff. Hi, we're gonna shoot at you because why not? Oh, there is precision rounds. Good. A little bit more pressure on that. I've got your back. Can I get Kager in range to do anything? Doesn't look like it. Come over here. Just to keep him protected. You're so lame. It's supposed to be super rare, full of consequences. Yet you put them on every other. Yeah. Like I said, if it was just Arrow 4s or uh, Davy Crockett's, then I'd absolutely include them. <laughs> Were the devs like this? Because they wanted to have more nuclear options. I think it was a poor decision, but... Eh. Wouldn't be the first time. Although, on the flip side of that, they also have provided this wonderful oh playground for us to play in, so... You win some, you lose some, I kind of guess? Uh, no, I try and take a little bit of a holistic look to it. Because <laughs> some of the stuff, I think, is the dumbest things ever. And some of the stuff is actually pretty smart, so. Oh, good, the medium pulse laser actually hit. That'll make him unsteady, but we're sharing an 18. Oh, no, he's on 15. Never mind. Oh, dude! Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Show me! That's not him. That's not him. Where is he? You can't hide him from me. There he is! <laughs> it's been so long since we saw this guy. So this is, uh, I can't remember the, the exact name of it, but this is a melee commando. <laughs> Equipped with a, with a cutlass on it. We used to have this guy. He used to be one of our main mechs. I'd like to have an arrow fight. Aerospace fighter coverage. They're working on it. Still annoyed that lambs not being optional, but that's just me. I mean, lambs are a part of the lore. Lambs are also really cool. Anyone who says otherwise is wrong. You are unsteady. How how do I only have a 10% to hit? How do I only have a 27% chance to hit? Ah, uh, whatever. Fire! There we go. We just took out half of those weapons. Take that. Lambs are awesome. This is fact. Indisputable. Uh, the season that had the stalker you said season 5, so I'm looking at the thumbnail art. It has a white skull, red with a star eye and dagger. Um, I think so? I just find out who, uh, which, which company it is. Because like I said, I believe it's Ripper's Rumblers. So if it says like, stay in two McOrders, and we'll go back to another episode of Rogue Tech. As we continue the campaigns of Ripper's Rumblers. And if it gets to that point, and that's it is, then that's the season, I think. That stalker doesn't show up for a while, though. Ooh, acid! Oh, we're not going to be able to fully knock him over. I don't think so, anyway. Oh, no, we're just going to be able to do it. So are, pro uh, so are proto but they are optional. Yeah, I see your point. Uh, lambs are still too anime for my taste. Hey. <laughs> lambs are brilliant. They make me happy. Let's go for dust boots. Okay. Good and tag. Hey. And then. Dead Jenner. Good. Lambs are life. Lambs are awesome. Uh, it's Hall's Heroes? Halls? Heroes? What? Let me look. Now you got me curious about my own stuff. <laughs> Let's see. YouTube. I don't want to look up. In the search box. Rippers. Rumblers. And then Battletech. How about we put in Tarek 117? That's how you know. No results were found. What? What is this madness? I have no idea. It's been a really long time. No more. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Let's see. Season 5 was. That's Alpha Blender. This was our Tortuga campaign. Ooh, I think it might have been season five. Town, Hollow Atlas, Expo. 
Salvage for a Fafnir or was it? High Temple Ops. King Crabs, Dual for Supremacy. 55 time catapults. This was also a really good season, actually. It's actually a really good season. <laughs> This. Stay in the course, it'll look like a rope. Shut up. <laughs> Who was this? Which company was this? Here, and we'll see the, the titles of the month. Let's see, this was. Finn, Jess. Oh, this was Howl. Oh, Howl. Okay. Howl's Heroes. Not Howl's Heroes. <laughs> Been a while. Uh. Every playthrough, I get that Urban McLean. We got that once. Uh, we didn't use it very long, because <laughs> it wasn't very good at the time. This was before the Lamb rework. After the Lamb re rework, things get things got different. But before it, uh, still a bit of a problem. Right, we're going to pop back over here, and we're going to re-engage these swashbucklers up here. Just need to watch all the content you put in. <laughs> I don't think it was Howl. It might have been, but I don't think it was. Okay, I'll scout. Yeah, go beat a, beat each other up. All primary targets have been destroyed. All right, now we can evac it in down. All right, we're gonna start marching over here to go kill that commando. Every mercenary run I do, I get the urban line. Yeah. Howl was pretty good. She was. Hull was stupidly successful. Confirm. Went for 120, almost 120 episodes? We were heading in the exact same direction for Copper Tops campaign, and when I decided, nope, we can't do that, and we just started cutting it up into multiple seasons. So. Find it, the content is falling on the blast. <laughs> Wasp. Fire starter. Leave my fire starter alone. Wait a little bit, sure. More wasp. Order. Shade. Oh, I think you might be stuck. If you're stuck, that'll be nice and easy for me to annihilate. All in Are you moving? Uh, I don't think that you are. I need more ammo on this mortar. Aye, aye. We have insufficient mortar ammo. Because the mortar H just burns through ammo real quick. So I need like two more tons, at least. Oh, you have artillery. Shoot. That's gotta die. Okay, PPC and an auto cannon. That's an interesting combination. Oh, my God. Who's the artillery slinger? Not you. Although you are a lot closer than I thought you were. Alright, who's my little artillery boy? Oh! Might be a thumper or a mech. Tour mix and a wasp. Standing by. Mm. Yeah, this is just a bad position for us. Although that artillery has got to die. Otherwise, we're just never getting out of here alive. Confirm. Peekaboo. No. Maybe. Also, maybe. Let's go for the commando. Break him! As much as I would like to get him, I'm not going to bother. He's a commander. And he's generally not all that useful. Flop. Wounds. Did we cause anything? Pilot is bleeding out in three activations. Okay, then. Don't got to touch him ever again. What do you want? All right, fire starters. We're going to need to be ready to ruin this commando. As soon as he comes on the right, the correct side. Uh, I may as well keep pushing up here. Oh, I really think it's you. Hey, we hit two. And so, so, what are we using in place of the scent? Uh, Phoenix. The Centurion got annihilated. Which was very annoying. I'm still not over it. 
Okay, could teal the commando, not going to. The pilot's gonna bleed out anyway, so I'm gonna save my time and my money. Because ammo's literally money these days, so. Okay, multiple wasps on this one so far. You know, you do not you do not want my fire shredder to come over this hill and dive on top of you, trust me. Talk to me. Bigger mechs than you have tempted that wrath. Wasp, so two wasps and a commando. I don't want to get too close because we're dealing with an artillery situation, but I also don't want to get anybody to get too strung along. Isn't the pirate commando called Stabby or something like that? Yeah. He's Mr. Stabby or something like that. And he's rather insane. But now that he's lost a leg. Oh, you're it. I knew it. I was right. But now we know who you are. You're the Howitzer 2000 one. And you're an AC2 on a PPC. Right. You're a R98, I want to say. I think it's in the 90s. So. Hello, Trevor to the 6 y Welcome to the stream. How did that work? He lost so loud. Said we're going to take this so out. Yep. Lao basically being a dick. You're die, he bleed out in two turns. How can I help? Although he does have a large laser, and that, you know, is rather unpleasant. Very tempting to dive back over that hill. But we're not going to. I'm moving. We're gonna wait on that. It was R62. And this is the RHW. Now the fun thing about the RHW is they have weapon mounts. So they're one of the few reliable ways of actually getting your hands on weapon mounts for whatever ails you. And we would like it, I just don't think we're going to get it. Yes. Uh, based primarily on the fact that life doesn't like me that much. Wait. Also, I'm not doing anything to like go out of my way that would actually promote the chance of getting that. Would have been nice if you actually had managed to hit that, but okay. I'm gonna underrun you and annihilate you. Here comes the all scout. Single medium laser. Double cross by Lahu could have been. <laughs> yep. It's unrecoverable, so some parts showed up in salvage and Lahu claimed it in the clause 351B. Uh huh. Commander. Dick move. That's what that was. Location confirmed. Target him. We're gonna use the last of my acid. Just rain on his parade. That should have gotten both of them. I think I hit something good. And then the wasp follow-up over here. This next comp star hooking tech? No, say it ain't so. Okay, commander's gonna run up here. Tempted to pop up over the hill and just annihilate you, but I don't know if I have a good enough accuracy for it. So I'll need volume of fire to resolve that problem. Another wasp. Crab! I mean, I could shoot the Oscar, but who cares? You are a commando what now? 2D. Uh, is that the SRM-6 large laser one? Or is that the... No, the 2C is the AC-2 one, I think. It's been a while since I've had to remember the finer points of commandos. Alright, this does have null sig, so that should help it be a little bit extra aggressive. There, there it is. Swinging like so. And engage. Not you. Okay, you were the SRM 10 one, but that's okay. We've only got beacons on board. Okay, that's fine, I guess. Hey, we got a hit with the beacon? It did one damage, so it's gotta be the narc. Fire starter dodging fire. So he was going to lose it anyway, but Lao decided to rub salt in the wound and tell them they were dead. Yes, pretty much. There was no reason for them to take it. I had no salvage. But they're like, no, nah, no, nah, we're going to tell you that we're, we're confiscating this. That probably was not the best plan ever. You want to foster positive relationships with your mercenaries? That's not going to do that. Okay, R60 something. Woo, damn it. Hit me with the BBC. Hello, OR Hammer. Welcome to the stream. 
That's God bless Nintendo's facial expression. It's so much more sense. Uh, it was fun. Mostly. Kind of. Not really, but hey. You win some, you lose some. And in this case, we absolutely lost one. You die after the next turn. He's want? just gonna bleed out. Hello there. Uh, what if I wanted... No, apparently we're stuck on charge. If I charge, we'd be looking... 129 damage is not bad. In that case... I'd be showing my back to a boss, but I'd be showing my back to a PPC, and I don't have enough health to do that. So we will go for the side charge on this one. Charge, 72. Get him where it hurts! Good hit. Please be a side torso we hit. No, it wasn't. Uh, what's the goop button next to the jump button? Oh, that's for, um... That's to keep yourself from bleeding out. So, pilots now take specific injuries in this game. And one of those injuries is to be bleeding to death. And if you use first aid, which is the goop button, uh, you stop yourself from bleeding out that turn. But you have to keep using it. So, it can be a little bit harrowing. I figured if I'd take this one for, uh, for cash or for parts. Because there's all the there's all the chance in the world right now that we get our hands on an urban mech, which is not ideal, but we're kind of scraping the bottom of the barrel a little bit. Need on my way. Up here, take the high ground. Or how about the guy on the ground? Airburst mortar. No, we won't kick in the airburst because I don't want to invite the hit. Unfortunately, we didn't actually manage to hit the armor blow it up. Where is it you won? Haven't seen him at all? I don't know. Haven't seen him in a very long time. He did get married, and then I assumed the honeymoon. He shows up on Discord on occasion. But he hasn't been able to make streams in a while. So. Hey. Crab. Where's that commando? Hiya, commando! First things first. Vigilance. Then, get behind the commando. Ooh, 16%. Never mind. Yeah, we'll go for the kick. It's not a good kick, but... Actually, there may be no point to go for that kick, actually. At those accuracy levels, I don't really want to risk it. Oh, I can't get, can't get the the uh, back angle that I wanted. Best I have is a side shot. Oh, oh well, boy. we'll take the Here side shot. Go. Bye, Commando. Bye, Commando. Darn it! I don't. Drop to the six Y has gifted here one sub to OR Hammer. Thank you so much, moment, for sending it out. Gonna send out my heart piece to you. Hopefully, if anybody in the chat currently has any Urban Mech emotes, they too will be spamming them in chat to demonstrate how much they appreciate the hard work and extra effort they're putting in the community. Alright, so you're gonna shoot and then you're gonna bleed to death. Unless you actually start using first aid, in which case you're out of the fight anyway. So, it's the worst thing in the world, I suppose. Although we, he doesn't have to make that decision until four. You missed! By getting this close to the commando, though, I will hopefully reduce how far he moves. And then I can punch him again. No, he went for broke. He, he ran. <laughs> Darn it, get back here. They're shooting at me. Get back here so that I can get my pinchy claws on you. Ow. At least it's just the AC2. Just shoot it in the head, shoot which in the head? <laughs> oh, the, um, the commando? Ah, we'll wait. He's gonna bleed out. And then we won't have to worry. Unfortunately, that's only four parts because we did blow off a leg. If we hadn't, we would have been able to get all five parts. Oh no, we're about to get charged. Uh, please don't fall over? Damage looks like oh good, you didn't fall over. Excellent. Still not ideal, but... He's gonna turn, he's gonna oh, shoot. Boy. Didn't hit anything, and then he just dies, right? Because that'll be three turns after him. There he goes. I've got your back. 
All right, fire starter. Let's get you right on in here. We're gonna play some barbecue games. And then you. The, the odds of getting this hit are not good. You, on the other hand, a little bit better. More piercing rounds. What else I got? Just AP? Okay. Only got. Wow, this mech does not have a lot of ammo. Hmm. I'm actually a little surprised that that didn't kill him. Wasp as well. But really, I still want to take out the Sarge. He's the one that I care about the most. Uh, preferably without barbecuing all of that. So we'll aim over here. Kicking the flamers and the machine guns. Side torso destroyed. Good hit there. Commander. And then the Phoenix is just gonna, I suppose, kind of charge down into this. Oh, wait, no, gotta, gotta keep that mortar in mind. Alright, shift. 24%. That's not great. I wonder why your accuracy is so poor. Oh, your sensors didn't take over this round. Great. Yeah, give me that wasp. Hurt him a little bit. Let him know he's gone. What's my favorite mech? Champion. Hey, Greybird. Welcome to the stream. Oh, the battle goes interestingly. Not ideal, but still actually working towards our favorite, sort of. Just taking longer than I think we have preferred. Did you? Oh, right. You guys aren't friends. <laughs> I forgot about that. You guys are actually all enemies together. Don't hit me. Damn it! Hit me again! Stop charging my mech! Ooh, that's getting bad. I'm getting bodied by melee wasps. What is this? I'm losing to melee wasps. How? Ow. Small amount of damage. The goal is to save that guy's arm, though. Because I wanted to swap him out. Turns off the stealth. Hopefully not. Oh, you mean for you lurking, not for the... Not for the Nilsig. Okay. Miss! Probably because we're too close. I was getting too hot anyway. Well, welcome back. Mine's a hunchback? Nice. Hey, he ejected! That'll be five parts to that urban mech. All right. If I charge you, what are we looking at? 150 damage at a 60%? How about I just, you know, not do that? Instead, I'll walk over here and I'll light you on fire. With less medium lasers. Because at the end of the day, you have a PPC and that ain't chill. Of course, now I'm out of flame ammo, so I suppose it's kind of pointless. So this pilot ejected, this pilot ejected, this pilot we're gonna enjoy messing with. Are you still running towards us, or...? Yes, you are. Okay, there you are. You just need to have a single crab be able to beat two wasps. I don't think that's too much to ask, but you never know. Ooh, I'm gonna lose this entirely, so this wasp is gonna be able to move before I can do anything about it. So he's probably gonna run away. Oh, he's back! Jesus, leave me alone! Ha! Never mind, you fell over. What injury did you take? Uh, none, according to this. Alright, that'll be helpful. Go for the kick. No X-Pulse. 
We want to be on his left side because that's already exposed. And yeah, oh, I can only punch on that left side. So we'll go center. Moving. Take this. Hit. And then the barbecue. More toastiness. All right, so that's going less than ideally. So let's get you moved to a position where you're not quite so vulnerable. On my way, double time. And we'll lay all of this on top of you. You two can enjoy. Target's taking a critical hit. And our scout is now vulnerable. 16. Are you going to stomp on me? Or are you just going to shoot? He's going to pull away. Oh, different one. Never mind. That actually hurt. That hurt a surprising amount for a wasp. Don't forget the crab has to survive. Eh. Sort of. The crab needs to live. It doesn't need to be in good shape, though. So as long as the pilot doesn't start bleeding out, I'm happy. Ow. Jerk. It's probably his best move, though. You lost a component? What? Lost a component. Uh, something exploded. What'd you lose? Oh, uh, you lost leg, me leg actuators, I think. On the bright side, though, he overcooked himself and died. Uh, where is a good site to get mods for this game? Uh, Nexus. It's probably the place where most of us got this from. Although, Rogue Tech also distributes directly from their Discord, which I believe comes from Mediafire? I know, I knew, I agree. Unfortunately, I don't have much choice in the matter. Alright, we're gonna shift right in here. And I'm going to unload on him with everything that I've got, and hope that that'll be enough. There we go. That's one of them. There were a lot of wasps on this match. Talk to me. All right, so uh, that's all of the urban mechs. So let's see if we can't knock you into a nice vulnerable state as well. 66%, that's not bad. And he hit with it too, good. Right now I have the base game looking forward to doing with him. Nice. There's a couple of different mods that people will recommend. Uh, the one we're playing right here is Rogue Tech. Rogue Tech is considered by many to be the kitchen sink mod. So it has everything and then some that you could ever want. Uh, so everything from the entire Inner Sphere map, the clans, a whole bunch of custom mechs, playable vehicles, playable aircraft, uh, basically everything. The board rush. Yes. Then there's the sister mod of uh, Rogue Tech called BTA 3062. And that also has a whole ton of stuff. I'm just going to shoot you and see if I can blow your leg off. Uh, slightly less complex. Uh, doesn't have the same sensor system mods that are involved, but very similar in terms of what they offer. Less flamer, more X-Pulse laser. Then I've also heard that uh, Battletech Extended, also called Bex, so B-E-X, is also considered to be pretty good. And then there's another one that also takes place. Uh, Bex and the other one, which I can't remember the name of, are much closer to being like vanilla than they are being their own thing. You only have a little bit of missile left. If I just charge you, we're looking at 56. That's really tempting. Hit him for 125 damage. That'll kill. Unfortunately, you missed, so. BTR. Ah. Beneath the Hades Rim. Yeah, that's another one that uh, a couple of people have been talking about lately. Right now, I would like to have more than four mechs in a drop, and I'm sick of fighting 10 to 4. <laughs> well, you can have up to 12 mechs in uh, Rogue Tech and BTA. So, that'll. That would certainly get that. Oh, well, actually, no, you can't have 12 mechs. You can have 8 mechs and 4 vehicles. So, you can't go crazy on it. Hi, Commando. You left me for dead. Yay. That may have been a bad decision. 
Hades room is ridiculously hard. Oh. Maybe battle take a rise. Yeah. Wasp is going to get up and hobble away. Ineffectually trying to shoot at my fire starter. My fire starter will respond by beating the ever-living crap out of you. I've got your back. Which leg do you still have? Your right leg? Well, if I can't get to either of them, then I might as well just stand behind you and boot you. To hell with the weapons. Start. Oddly enough, not the solution. Hmm. Commando's turning around. Yeah, he still has SS room six active. I have to do something about that soon. You are also going to attempt to kick, except you're going to turn on a little bit more. Take this. There we go. And then the barbecue and the pulse laser. Unfortunately, you shot your friend on the side, so don't do that. Take that, bastard. Pushing the red line. Two more to go. Three more to go? Three more to go. So we've got a wasp, an os scout, and a commando. And we'll have this all sorted out. Missed me! Punk. Set up right here. Shoot in the back. Get a little bit of penetration, although that did open things up so that Shade can now come in with some accurate long-range barrage fire. Hi there, buddy. We're going for FDLs. And there's no more wasp. Honestly, Mega Mech has pulled me away from Rotec most of Yeah, it'll do that. <laughs> It just gives you so much more options. <laughs> There's so much more you can do. Why are my legs so badly damaged? Uh, let's just get the temperature back under control. I'd be tempted by Mega Mag, but the UI is so clunky I'd get frustrated. It is not super pleasant to work with. But once you get used to it, it becomes not so big of an issue. How can I help? Come on. Ooh. Hello there. Didn't realize that you decided you wanted to die. And lasers to the back. Lasers didn't hit, but the flamethrowers certainly did. Going up the hill for the high ground bonus, and that'll be a 55% accuracy. Mortar, LRM. Make it hurt. Yeah, I definitely think the mortars are working out better for us than the thumper did. One less target. Although slightly Advanced different set of command. circumstances that we're running in. Where's the commando going? Yay, he missed. Oh, Here. Fire in his back. The last of my cannon ammo. But that'll make him unsteady, which oh, means we can follow up. Bubble. Want a barbecue. On my way, You're still toasty? Jeez. No, he's gonna get to move! Be able to shed that instability. Ah, you missed! So. Mega Mix organizational structures, though, oh. kind of make up for the fact that it is rather clunky. The fact that I can basically make an entire company and run that company with with like organic elements to it is just so much fun that it really kind of makes up for it all more rain i've got your back trigger is going to get on in on this this I should make him unsteady if i can hit him a little bit oh we hit him a little bit that'll open you up to me Hello. More important pieces no longer found on this mech. UI learning curve is worth the worth it to run short battalion of mechs and arrow. 
I kind of agree. Talk to me. And by kind of, I mean I absolutely do. <laughs> All right, so I want. Yeah, we'll go for this side just to start stacking up as much damage as we can. Good hit. Lasers and flamers. And there goes most of the mech. That. On your back. <laughs> I always like it when they fall over and die. Alright, that works. We are back in business. Hopefully, kind of, sort of. Again, I don't remember if I took this one for money or cash, which is kind of odd because we only started this mission like 20 minutes ago. Still. Uh, if we did take it for for parts, which is the money side of the money or cash, um, then we could get ourselves an entire urban mech, but I want that weapon mount most of all. A weapon mount? I'd be very tempted to swip, switch out the... I'd be very tempted to switch out the mortar for a thumper at that point. All right, the, the fire starter's leg damage is kind of ridiculous, but it's alive and mostly kicking. So I can't complain too much. Oh, we did take it, okay. Lovely. How is it 2000s are not worth it? PPCs are pretty tempting actually. Just a good old fashioned box standard PPC. And then I need, ooh, no indirect fire control system. That's disappointing. Scroll, 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 scroll. Reinforced leg, tempting. Basic sensors, sensor primitive. Oh, it's only an upper recoil now. I thought it was a full-on weapon mount. Oh well. Virus sword is tempting, just because it's funny. But it's not all that useful. Uh, but yeah. Commando SP. So. Mr. Stabby. He's adorable. He's excellent at what he does. Which is walk up to people and stab them. Could grab another flamer. I do need that. Start replacing other flamers. I think we'll get the medium lasers. Or the rocket 20s. Although I don't want to design a mech that is based on the idea of a rocket 20. SRM 6. We replace them? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Suddenly having second thoughts on that. We got the rocket launchers anyway. Got a 155 fusion core. Not great, but hey. Uh, sell the internal combustion. And then... How many of these do I have? Sell that then. Make a little bit of extra cash. We'll keep the fuel cell. There is a very narrow range of circumstances where fuel cells are actually good on mechs. So. Uh, finishing a year-long contract for Lyrans right now. After months of Free Worlds League. Avoiding me IGM generating a base assault attack. Scenario to let all of my heavy hitters throw a knockout blow. <laughs> nice. Have you been playing with Stratcon? So I really want to get back to tinkering around with that. So I can test out how Stratcon works. But anyway, uh, we are going to put a cut in here for the YouTube. So to my YouTube, YouTube people, don't worry, still going to be streaming for a bit. But to my YouTube people, thank you very much for watching. I have been Taranky. If you like what you've been saying, hit that like button and subscribe. If you want to see a notification every single time I release one of these videos, press that little bell icon. Leave a comment. I will see you all in the next episode.